Good afternoon. This is Eitan Shalom at the Body Mind Wellness Center. I am here with my patient, Bill. We're going to call him Bill. And the primary focus of my treatment today is that he has some severe right hip pain. Um, and so what I've done is, I don't know if you can see these needles. There we go. I have done dry needling on his right buttock. He has severe hip pain that would appear to be of myofascial origin. He doesn't have any neurological symptoms. Um, he does also have um, a bit of a history of a of lots of uh, tightness in his muscles. So I have released his uh, gluteus medius and minimus there. And then I've done dry needling. These are actually, right here, these are um, three inch needles. I've actually released his piriformis very well, as well as his quadratus femoris. And what I've done with the piriformis is I've d needled directly into it with this needle, but then I've also come in at an angle to get different, that way you get different fibers of the muscle. And that's, an, that's a technique that's very helpful. Sometimes you'll c come in with a, torquing it at a 45 degree angle so that you go underneath the needle that's at the perpendicular angle. So we've got the gluteus medius, we've got the piriformis, and then we've got the often overlooked quadratus femoris, which is uh, um, inferior to or distal to, rather, is what I meant to say, um, south of the piriformis. And so that's what I've done in the buttock. He also has very tight muscles. I wonder if I turn this other light on, if that will help or hinder. I still, there we go. Maybe that's better. Um, so I'm going to give you a second uh, look there. There we go. So that's the right buttock. And then he also has a very tight low back. So I've released the quadratus, the motor point of the quadratus lumborum. And I've also done some of the paraspinal muscles on either side of his lumbar spine at the level of L2-3 and also on the left L4-5. And the reason why there's a needle on the left here not on the right is because I needled on the right and it was very loose and relaxed. There was no need. Now what you'll notice here is on the right, if you can see how pink the skin is, and that's a histamine response that you often get when the muscle's quite tight. So there I've done, I'm going to turn the camera around this way. There I've done the motor point of the quadratus lumborum on the right with some, and on the left, with so, so the, there and there, and then the paraspinal, some of the paraspinal muscles. And you'll notice there are cupping marks, and that's from last week. So you can see that last week when I treated him, I did cupping here because he was so tight and it left marks. He also has problems with his right shoulder that are chronic, uh, of, in, in, chronic uh, by nature and muscular by nature. You've not had any surgery on your right shoulder, have you? Or did you have the torn labrum? Is that you? Yeah, torn labrum. Yeah, so he has a history of... So this is an interesting case because he has a history of a torn labrum. He's actually quite athletic and he used to play lacrosse and all kinds of sports. He's a very athletic person. and um, But he's been injured for a while. And so his he's had a surgery to repair a torn labrum and his he has great range of motion in, sh in his shoulder. He's doing strength training in his shoulder. And so he really basically has just some pretty, on the scale of things, relatively minor um, very tight in his infraspinatus muscle here and also his uh, triceps. So these were the two points. The I'm trying to find the needle through the camera. There we go. The infraspinatus muscle. And this happens to correspond to an acupuncture point as well. And it's, it's a trigger point in the infraspinatus. And you'll notice that I've done uh, cupping. I did cupping last week and you'll see the, the reason why those marks are so strong a week later is because he got so purple and the reason why he got so purple was because his muscles were so tight. 
I also uh, uh, found, have found clinically over the years that when someone has a shoulder problem, it's often very helpful to release the triceps. And that's a very overlooked, and I discovered that years ago when I was treating somebody who cut hair for a living. And then I've released the uh, uh, trigger points on the upper trapezius. And then um, his rhomboid on the right was fine. I did the rhomboid and upper trapezius on the left. So um, that's, that's what I'm doing with uh, Eric. And he's already doing a lot better. He had a problem with his foot. The, his foot was, uh, you have a, um, a, a sesamoid bone, uh, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, sesamoid uh, bone fracture. And when he came in last week, when he came in, his left foot was completely purple and swollen. And by the end of the treatment, it was back to normal. And that looked to me like um, a nervous system reaction. He does have a family history of RSD, reflex sympathetic dystrophy which is an autonomic nervous system disorder that does respond very well to acupuncture. So that was exciting because last week his left foot was very cold, it was purple and swollen, and by the end of the treatment it was normal looking. And when he came in today it was also normal looking. So he does respond very well. Um, okay, thank you for tuning in.